what's the difference, right, between Lofgren syndrome and Loeffler's syndrome? Yeah, I often think that. Lofgren syndrome is a clinically distinct phenotype of sarcoidosis that presents acutely with the classic triad of erythema nodosum, acute arthritis, typically in the ankles, and bihilar lymphadenopathy. This triad has a 95% specificity when present. It's more common in females and more frequent in those of Scandinavian and Irish heritage. The median age of onset is 37. Loeffler syndrome is an eosinophilic pneumonitis that occurs in response to a parasitic infection, for example, Ascaris or Strongyloides. The syndrome is characterised by transient pulmonary infiltrates on chest x-ray. It is commoner in the warm, damp parts of the world, as memorably described in a 1968 BMJ article. So I'm going to try and remember this syndrome by thinking of a wheezy returning traveller. So how do you remember the difference between the two syndromes? The Lufgren family name is a Swedish word meaning leaf and branch. Sven Lufgren himself was a Swedish physician who named the syndrome. To me, bihilar lymphadenopathy looks a bit like a tree and Lufgren sounds like leaf green. So I'm going to remember Lufgren syndrome as a tree on a chest x-ray. The Luffler family name derives from the Middle High German Leffel, meaning spoon. So a Luffler was a maker or seller of spoons. Now, I couldn't quite shoehorn spoon into xenophilic pneumonitis, but in a culinary context, the parasites that cause Luffler syndrome are in effect dining off us. So yeah, but tenuous. So there you go. Thanks for listening.